Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my September TBR. So yeah, this week has just been so long. Like in my last video, so I was working six days in a row before I got a day off. And it's just, it's been exhausted. And I'm just, I'm exhausted. Like, my body just hurts. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what to say, you guys. So, for once, I'm actually on time with my TBR. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself because it never happens. But I said to film some videos today because I don't know when they might decide that they're going to do this again. Like, they've lost their freaking minds. But um, I got this idea for my September TBR from this Buddy Reads group that I'm in on Facebook. And uh, this guy, Vince Books, uh, he's every September he does series September where he continues or finishes a series that he has started already and I was like that is such a good idea because that's I think that's the issue that we all struggle with is actually finishing a series that we start because we get a book and then wait like months before we read the next book knowing we already have it though so I figured this would be a really good idea because I do have a lot of series <laughs> on my shelf that I want to finish or continue with so I figured why not that is a great idea so first of all, which is kind of part of a series, I think it's the first book in the series, but this is a book that I want to finish in September, and that's A Justified Bitch by H.G. McKinnon. I need to finish this. Um, I said in my last video I probably wasn't going to have time anyway because of what my work schedule looked like, but um, now things have kind of calmed down, so I want to finish this book first before I get on to any of the rest of the books that I want to read. Um, this book <coughs> is a murder mystery. And it's the first book in um, a, Las, a Las Vegas mystery series. Um, I, I don't know how many books they're going to have, but it's the first book. And I'm liking it so far. I'm 62, I think 62% of the way done. Sorry for my voice, y'all. I'm just, I got my voice back, but then now my nose is kind of stuffy on and off. And <coughs> I keep having to clear my throat, so sorry about that. It's about this woman named Helen, and her neighbor is murdered, like like murdered murder not just shot and killed like the bitch was like viciously murdered but they find the her finger on her property so she's taken it as a suspect and her husband died a few years ago but she still sees him so it's kind of like i see dead people kind of thing and she still sees him she still thinks he's there like she talks to him everything and people looking at her like who are you talking to and she's like dead serious this is my husband Okay, don't be rude. Like, dead serious. But, and she is a whore. Like, her house is a freaking mess. So, she is taken as a, as a suspect for questioning. And as you can tell, all her marbles are not there. Her sister comes down from Phoenix to try to help get things together, get her house clean, try to get her mind right, you know, so that she could be a real witness. Because they think even, they don't think she participated, but they think she was an actual witness to the murder. So... They want her to help her to clear her head so that she will talk about what happened because she won't talk about it. And then apparently at some point um, between now and the end of the book, there's going to be another murder and she's going to be right back in the light of are you a suspect. And reading it right now, I think I know who's going to be the next one because of what I'm reading right now. So I'm pretty sure I know who it is that's going to be next and I hope I'm right. And then after that, I'm pretty sure I know who the killer is. But, um... Yeah, this book is good so far. I really like, I really like this, and I talked about this in my last video too. The only weird thing is <laughs> the title is a justified bitch. Now that does not bother me, but when I read this at work and customers ask me, "Oh, well, what are you reading?" I can't just tell them, "Oh, a justified bitch." So it's kind of like I have to skip over the title. <laughs> but when it's this murder mystery, they're not interested. You know, I show them the book. Like this is what it is. That's why I didn't say it. I don't know. You know, I don't want to offend anybody. You know. But, um, yeah, so far I like this book. The only thing is, I don't think the cover does this book justice. Like, I don't think the cover does it. I think there should be a better cover because this is not it. But other than that, the book is going good so far right now. Now, starting into my series that I want to continue or finish up for September, the first one that I have, now these aren't, any, aren't in order because I'm probably not going to read them like this anyway, but this is just the order that I have them stacked in. So, the first one that I have is... Harry Potter the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling and this is the second book in the Harry Potter uh, series and I love this cover so 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 much. I 
did just start reading the Harry Potter series last year. So I didn't start reading Harry Potter until I was 20, okay? So it's never too late. But <coughs> I love these covers so much. These are UK covers. I love these so much. I got this cover off of um, Book Depository. This is one of the first books that I ordered from Book Depository. And oh my gosh, you guys. This cover is amazing. I like this better than the US covers. I just think it's just so cute, you guys. And I think I'm going to just get the rest of the covers like this. And I did not know that it was going to be way shorter than the US edition. So it looks kind of weird next to the US edition because it's not in uniform. But whatever. I'm probably going to go and get the, the Ravenclaw edition for uh, a Sorcerer's Stone anyway. Because that, that that is cute. I feel like I need to have it. And I will give my other edition away. But this one, love this cover. Then the next book that I have is Frost Like Night by Sarah Ross, and this is the third book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, third and last book, and I have been holding off on finishing this series, like, I'm just, because I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know how I'm going to feel about anything that's going to happen, so I'm kind of, like, iffy about it, I am, like, I'm, I don't, well, I'm very iffy about it, because after the last book, I'm just like, okay, now, I do like this series, I don't talk about it much, I don't think. I don't talk about it that often, but I do like this series. But I just, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. It's like, it's always hard to say goodbye to a series or a trilogy once you're finished. And I think that's probably why I've been holding off on reading it, because I'm just, I'm not ready to say goodbye just yet. So, hopefully, I will read this, because I need to just end this series so I can be like, okay, that's done. I need to, because this book has been sitting on my shelf for some months now, and I just, I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it. The next book that I have is Scarlet by Mar Marissa Myers, and this is the second book in the Luna Chronicles, which I love Cinder so freaking much. Cinder's was just so amazing. I think I gave Cinder four and a half stars, because I felt like a stepmother could have been way meaner. Um, but this... I'm, I'm like excited for this. Like I was supposed to read this a couple months ago. It was in my TV office and I never got to it. But like I love Cinder so much. It's amazing. So I can't wait to continue with these retellings because I think Scarlet is supposed to be a retelling of Literary Riding Hood. So like I just cannot wait. And it was a big thing for me to like Cinder because when I heard of Cinderella retelling, I, I don't like Cinderella originally. I just don't like her because I feel like she let people walk over her. She didn't have a backbone. But Cinder remade oh my god you guys like she was just amazing I loved her so that kind of made me like that Cinder not Cinderella so <laughs> yeah I can't wait to continue with this uh, series I'm very excited the only thing I'm not excited about for this series is Winter which is the last book and the only reason why I'm not excited about that one is because I've heard mixed reviews about that one some people say they liked it but some people say they didn't they, they didn't like it it wasn't as good as all the other ones, so and I hate to finish a series off like that. So, But I'm trying not to look too far into the future because hopefully I just want to enjoy the books that I'm on right now. The next book that I have is Dream On by Kirsten Gere, which is the second book in the Silver Trilogy. The first book was Dream a Little Dream. I read that like, I want to say it was last year I read it. And, but I compared it to the movie The Craft. It's like a, a, it's like a remade version of The Craft, just with dreams. You know, you, they're pretty much like they can walk through dreams. Like certain children, certain people, they can walk through each, each other's dreams and see what each other are, are dreaming about. And I just think that that was such an amazing thing. I really loved Dream a Little Dream. I loved that book so much. I just recently got Dream On, which is the second book. I just recently got this book. Like, this was the last book I ordered. I just got this book like a week ago, okay? About a week ago, a week ago. Fuck with us and then we tweaking, ho. Tweaking, ho. Run up on that nigga, get that just made that song come into my head, but I can't wait to read this because the first book ended off on a really good, like it ended off really nicely. So I, I'm excited to read this, but I'm like kind of iffy about it because I don't know, depending on how this book is, I don't know how a third book is going to fit into this because the third book is out already. I just, I don't know how that's going to tie. I don't know because you know, usually, you know, a lot of times with trilogies, you feel like the second book can't get in right here that's good. So I don't know if I'm going to feel that way, and if I do, I don't know how I'm going to make myself read the last book, just because I'm going to feel like I've ended enough on the second book. So we'll see, which is a fairly short book, just like the first one. It's not anything long. I think I finished Dream a Little Dream in maybe, uh, in maybe a week, and, you know, <coughs> most people like, I could have finished that in the day, yeah, but I have a life, so. Um, 
<laughs> I had things to do, but I finished this in, in maybe a week, maybe less than a week, but in that week range. So I'm excited to read this. It should be something quick and simple. Hopefully I like it because I really like the first one. Okay, the next series that I want to read is the Nevermore series by Kelly Craig, well, Trilogy by Kelly Craig, I think, or Craig, something like that, but uh, this is a library book, so this is probably going to be the first series that I read, because I have to bring it back to the library, so it's probably going to be the first series. Um, I did read Nevermore already, so I know y'all might not thought you wanted to focus on series that you've already started. I did already start this. I read the first book, like, years ago. <laughs> So I bought the, <coughs> I got the whole trilogy from the library because I want to reread Nevermore because it's been years since I picked it up and read it to refresh my mind on everything and then continue with the trilogy. So this is probably going to be the first thing that I read after I'm done with a Justified Bitch just because I have to bring it back to the library. So this is most likely going to be the first thing that I read this month. The, the second to last series that I have that I want to continue with is King's Cage by Victoria ADR, which is part of the Red Queen trilogy or series. I don't know. I, some people say it's supposed to be a quartet, but then I hear that some people say it's supposed to be a trilogy. I don't know. If this is not the last book, that's perfectly fine with me, but I don't want to get my hopes up for another book and there will be no other book. So I'm not sure, but I've been hearing more often that it's supposed to be a quartet. It's supposed to be four books, so I'm going to say this is part of the series. And this is the most recent book that came out in February. And y'all know how I am behind Red Queen. I did start this off like a few months ago, but then I stopped because I just, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. It's like I'm running away from this book because I don't want any more bad things to happen. <laughs> and I'm just like biting my nails while I'm reading this. Cause like I just, I, I just, I don't want to see anything bad happen to any more of the characters. So I'm like cringing while I'm reading it. Okay, so... And now I have an extra person rushing me to read it, my fiance, because he wants to read it now since he's done with Glass Sword. And he's like, well, you should let me read it first, but I know if I let him read it first, I'm really not going to read it for like some months, okay? I give the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to take months until it's like a year. But that's why I refuse to let him read it first. So now I'm being rushed to read it so he can get his hands on it. But, guys, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I seriously don't know if I'm ready because I really don't want anything bad to happen. Like, I think if something bad happens, I'm going to just die in the middle of reading the book. So, it's like, that's why I stopped reading it and I read, like, other stuff. But I'm going to end up starting over from the beginning because I think I only read six. Yeah, I read the first six chapters. I'll just start over because it's only 70 pages. I'll just start over from the beginning and start over from reading from the beginning. Okay, the last book that I want to read this month is actually a book that I got from NetGalley and it comes out September 12th. I did read the first book. This is the second book. I also had the first book from NetGalley. It's A Body on Baker Street, which is the second book in uh, a Sherlock Holmes bookshop mystery by Vicki Delaney. I did read the first book, okay? I don't remember if I did a video review. I don't remember, but I did do my review on Goodreads and I no, I didn't do it on my blog. I haven't started my blog yet. But I did do my review on Goodreads. So I'm going to link the Goodreads review to the first book. And this is the second book. And I'm so happy I got to the chance to get the second book from NetGalley as well. Because I did enjoy the first book. Okay. The only thing I didn't, the only thing about the first book I didn't like is that Gemma, was it Gemma? I think it was Gemma. Okay. She was like really getting on my nerves because she kept putting herself in harm's way like she kept putting herself right in the middle to get blamed and she was pissing me off but other than that the book was really good and i really enjoyed it so i'm excited that i got the second book from that galley like i'm really bucked up that they gave me the second book too so i can continue with the series like for free <laughs> because otherwise i probably would have had to buy it which i didn't know the second book was even coming out so i was just browsing around on that galley which i told myself i wasn't going to do because i requested so many books already as it was and i saw that and i was like yes have to have to have to have to so yeah that is all the books i want to read this month all of the books that i plan on reading this month ambitious month yes very ambitious honestly i would be proud of myself if i got through all of these books this month but do i really think i'm gonna get through all of these books this month probably not Probably not. Probably not going to get through all of these. But I would be very proud of myself if I did. Like, I don't, I would be really feeling myself if I got through all of these. And these are not counting any graphic novels I might decide to pick up in a month or any poetry books that I decide to pick up because I never include graphic novels 
Not because I don't want to, but because I'm not sure if I'm going to read any yet until I actually get to that point. Like, hey, I feel like reading a graphic novel. And then I'll end up picking up a graphic novel and just adding it to my TBR. So, a lot of times, this is not counting all the graphic novels that I'm going to read. But I am very excited to see how this reading month is going to play out. We'll see. Um, I might get that hungry in me. I might just start running through books. And I'll be very bucked up if I did. And I deserve a pat on the back. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to stay to my last video. I did restart up my Twitter account. So, if you guys want to go over to my Twitter account, it's going to be linked in the description below. You guys should definitely go and follow me on Twitter because I had deleted it a while ago because somebody somehow hacked into my account, like some spam account, hacked into my account and was like uh, posting a bunch of links on my page and tagging and aggravating all of my friends on Twitter to go to this website, go to this website, and I don't even, and me, I'm like, I'm not even like, I don't have that many followers to want to hack my page, but that, I, that just made me done with it, and I deleted it, but now that I, now it's like it's been eating at me to restart it back up, because it seems like everybody's on Twitter, like more people are on Twitter than like on Facebook, and <laughs> then Instagram, Instagram and Twitter kind of go hand in hand, so I'm like, eh, might as well start it back up and see how it goes, so Follow me on Twitter at Butterfly1321, which I'm pretty sure is my, it's my name. It might be like, it might not, but I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm going to link it anyway so you guys can go and follow me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi. Send me your location. Let's focus on communicating because I just need...